The ocean is a wonderful place to photograph. Its constant moving and grooving makes it an endless playground to experiment with all kinds of long exposure effects. And it's no wonder why so many photographers love turning crashing waves into beautiful silky ribbons of water like this, because it totally rocks. So wave hello to a new era in your photography as we see how it's done. Ahoy, land lovers, and welcome to Professional Photography Tips. My name is Josh Cripps, and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Joshua Cripps Photography. Getting this wonderful silky water look to your seascape photos is as easy as one, two, three, so let me show you how it's done. First, you want to use a shutter speed in the one quarter to two second range. Any faster than that, and you won't see enough movement in the water any slower than that and you risk entering what I call the oatmeal zone where your water starts to look like an undefined gloopy mess. But that sweet spot right between a quarter and two seconds will give you a lot of motion in the water while still maintaining detail and coherency which is vital for strong streaks. In order to get those perfect shutter speeds you'll either need to use an ND filter during the day, wait for some clouds to blow in, or shoot at sunrise or sunset when the light levels are lower. In any case, you'll definitely need to use a tripod to get sharp results. Next, the timing of when you actually trigger the shot is absolutely critical. Personally, I find I get the best results when a wave has come up the beach, paused at the top, and is just flowing out. That's when I trip the shutter for silky goodness. And make sure you're using a remote so you can trigger your shot at just the right time without having to actually touch your camera. You'll see the strongest possible streaks when the water you're photographing is being funneled in some way. Whether it's flowing around a rock, through a chute, or even around your own legs. When the water is channeled in this way, it produces the most dynamic results. You may notice your tripod has a tendency to sink when shooting in the waves. In order to prevent this, push your tripod legs as deep as you can into the wet sand. This will give you an amazingly stable base to shoot from for these long exposures. And there you have it, the three simple things you need to get those beautiful streaky wave shots. Now get out there and practice. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel. You can also join my newsletter for heaps more photo tips and techniques. Don't forget to check out these other practical guides to nature photography. Until next time, have fun and happy shooting. You'll see the strongest possible streaks when the water you're photographing is being in. You'll be. Really? When the water is. Next, the timing of when you actually trigger the shot is absolutely critical. No, it's still too. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Papa.